Okay, now it's time to prepare the environment. The first thing we want to download and install VirtualBox. So from Google, download VirtualBox, go to the downloads, and from here, choose the version you want regarding the platform you want. So Windows or, or Host, OS X, for Mac, Linux, Distribution, Solaris, and so on. In my case, I am using Ubuntu, so I will choose a Linux distribution, and I will have Ubuntu 20, which is this one, okay? And then after you install it, just follow the instruction, as you can see from here, and you can just install it as simple as that. The same thing for OS X, the Mac, the Mac, and the same thing for Windows, okay? Now, this is the first thing. Now, the second thing, we want Kali Linux, okay? Now, by the way, we can install Nmap for Windows or for Mac or for Ubuntu, by the way, but actually for you as ethical hacker, it's better to have Kali Linux because Kali Linux is an operating system used for ventilation testers and ethical hackers, okay? So yeah, it is better to have Kali Linux installed. So from here, you can go to the Kali Linux downloads and from here, I want to choose a live boot, which is this one. And here you can download it, which is 3.7 gigabyte, which is Kali Linux 2021. Okay, or torrent, torrent, and you have the sum, just in case to make sure that you have the right distribution or the right ISO file. Okay. Now, the second thing, or the third thing, actually, not the second, we want to have an environment to test the nmap on so we want to scan the board the host vulnerabilities and so on so actually it's better to have a local machine or a testing machine for that purpose not to test on a live targets like google.com or amazon or whatever no actually this is bad so we will have meet exploitable okay so from here meet exploitable you can download it from SearchForge, or you can have it from rabbit7 which is this one okay but of course you need to provide information name email the company you're working with you can put arbitrary values by the way okay so you don't need to register and all of that okay now after virtualbox is downloaded and installed now we want to have kali linux operating system now you may ask me but why we need kali linux because by default it has the nmap already there okay and by the way as again we are as ethical hackers we have to learn the right way which is using a Kali Linux because this is used mainly by ethical hackers okay or hackers generally so from here open the virtual box new and let's name it Kali or Kali Linux and here you can choose Linux and let's choose other 64 okay and you can choose next put it as much as you want by the way 512 megabyte will be enough but in my case i have a lot of um, ram on my laptop so i can put 2 giga no problem and here you can create a hard disk next 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 i in my case i will put it as 50 gigabyte or no actually it's better to have it as 20 now it depends on your hardware again because i have a lot okay now this is the first step now here let's go to the setting while i'm choosing kali linux let's go to the network make sure it is a bridge adapter and make sure you are using the adapter that you want in my case this is the wi-fi not the ethernet and then go to the storage so here choose the empty and choose the disk file and choose kali linux okay which is this one and press ok now after this is done let's click on start and as you can see it will select we want to select the Kali Linux 2021 which is this one and let's start and here in my case I want I can put live you can just run it as live or you can just start the installer which is this one I will choose English, continue, United States, continue. Now for the host name, choose carry or whatever you want. Domain name, leave it as empty. 
the full name for the new user because by default carry doesn't support the root by default so you need to put a user here so in my case i can put kali username for your account kali it will be and it will be kali the kali one two three four five six now i know it's simple just this is for the sake of this course okay this is this the password by the way you need to provide a secure password this is just arbitrary password for the sake for this course okay now if you got stuck on the configure the network part make sure that you have the NAT first from here from the setting return it back to the NAT then after it is done you can return it back to the bridge now why we need the bridge not the NAT because we want to be on the same network okay so the Kali Linux will be will have a uh, an IP address on the same network of the meta exploitable machine which is that we want to use for testing okay don't worry we will handle that right away continue continue and you can choose um either separate or or files in one you know for in our case we don't we, it doesn't matter so continue and finish just and yes continue Okay, now you will see you see this use a network mirror and choose yes, continue, continue. Now you will see that install the drop bootloader. Yes, and um, you can uh, choose this device, which is the main device, which is our main device. Continue. Now the installation is complete. Now let's select the first one. Here's let's put the user that we created previously, Kali. And the password is Kali123456. Now we have the Kali Linux is ready. So from here, let's go to the full screen. Yeah, I think this is better. And from here, if I click on it. So here, if I type IF config, you can see that this is the IP address, which is inside the NAT network. So from here, from the machine setting to the network and select bridge adapter. Press OK. If I type IF config again, you will can notice that it is still the same problem. So for for that IF config down to the EF0. Or actually it's F0 down. And of course you need a sudo permission. So sudo this and carry 123456. So you can notice that if I type IF config again for this, you can see that the network is down. So you will notice that, yeah. So again, up sudo IF config. I actually think I must, yeah, I think it's better to increase the point size. So sudo IF config F0 up. Okay, like that. So sudo IF config. You can see that now we have the IP address, which is this one which is inside the network and this is what we want by the way you can see that nmap is here right as you can see nmap is here and by the way if you don't like the op opacity like this just from here from the file the preferences from the cat here from here from the application transparency put it to zero and apply you can see that now there are no transparency at all and you can change and by the way, you can change the the color. So from here, green on black, if you like this. Actually, I prefer this because it is it's not just like I am talking. I am hacker or something. No, no, the field like like that. No, actually, it's better for your eyes or at least for my eyes. I think this is better, comfortable for my eyes. Okay, now the next step we want to prepare the environment. We want to download and install the meta exploitable or, or we already download it so we want to install it so we can test and map against it in the next lectures okay now after we prepared the kali linux we want to prepare the meta exploitable which is the machine that we want to run the nmap against to test port scans vulnerability host discovery and and all of that so from the Metasploit, make sure you are downloaded the Metasploitable 2. Okay. 
which is you already downloaded now from here new name anything so let's name it meta exploit or meta exploitable two and choose linux choose other linux 64 512 megabyte will be enough create next next yes 8 giga is enough or more than enough actually now click on the setting for this machine make sure it is a bridge adapter and from the storage here so actually we want to remove this and we add we want to add a new hard disk so from here add it add so let's choose it yeah the vmdk file here choose it and click choose so you can see that we only have this one and the empty so we have this one and it adds a primary device zero click ok and just start it as simple as that now after it is booted you can see that it is only cli command line or a terminal and it will ask for a login username and password by the way you can find them on the same rabbit 7 which is the msf admin which is this one so if i go here msf admin and again msf admin you can see that now we are logged in as msf admin and if you type if config you can see that yeah we are inside the same network which is what we want now here the environment is ready now we have the virtual box inside it we have kali linux the attacking machine or the the machine that has an map that we want to run the scanning techniques and all of that we will handle it right away in the next lectures and we have the test machine or the hacked machines that we want to run and map against it to test scan check the vulnerability host discovery and, and all of that so you will not run that on a live machines or or live targets which is bad practice or bad thing you may get in trouble okay thanks for watching i will see you in the next lecture we will start